After long-term testing, China's YJ-21 became the world's first sea-based hypersonic anti-ship ballistic missile deployed in actual combat. It is no exaggeration to say that this weapon is really powerful. Well, China's YJ-21 has a terminal speed of Mach 10, cannot be intercepted by any anti-missile weapons systems in the world and can launch deadly strikes against enemy ships. Moreover, the US and its regional allies have officially recognized China's hypersonic missile capabilities. The US Congressional Research Service report on China's naval capabilities had earlier noted that China reportedly is also developing hypersonic glide vehicles that, if incorporated into Chinese ASBMs, could make Chinese ASBMs more difficult to intercept. Currently, the US does not have a credible defense against hypersonic missiles, which are near impossible to intercept owing to their incredible speeds and unpredictable trajectories. So, what are the highlights of the YJ-21? What breakthroughs has it achieved? Okay, let's get started. 1. The missile parameters are world-leading. In the previous July airshow, China has unveiled the YJ-21E for foreign trade, but according to the 300km range limit of the Ballistic Missile Proliferation Treaty, the YJ-21E foreign trade has a range of only 290km, far below the upper limit of this design, and has limited deterrent capabilities for aircraft carrier battlegroups. With the official service of this missile's self-use model, the mystery of its complete body technical and tactical performance has been unveiled. The YJ-21 is determined to be a shipborne ballistic missile for anti-ship purposes. In terms of power, the rear of the projectile is boosted by a solid rocket motor, and the head of the projectile is a double-cone configuration glider. This type of glider has a high supersonic lift-to-drag ratio performance, which meets the technical requirements for gliding in a hypersonic environment. Starting the hypersonic gliding process in the adjacent space greatly reduces the resistance of the missile to advance, and its range has been greatly improved, which obviously surpasses other predecessors of anti-ship missiles. This also means that China can break the boundaries of the military and achieve a better combination of all means of situational awareness. Considering that the YJ-21's range has exceeded the range of land-based and sea-based radar guidance, it will use a space-based data link to support ballistic missiles. That is to say, rely on satellites to monitor the target position information in real time, and constantly adjust the flight direction of the missile according to the data link feedback. The YJ-21 has a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, an average flight speed of Mach 6, a terminal speed of Mach 10, and a hit error of less than 30 meters. The flight performance of the missile is similar to that of the Zircon hypersonic anti-ship missile previously launched by Russia, with a range of 1,000 kilometers and a maximum speed of Mach 9, and the kinetic energy of the missile alone can cause strong damage. 2. The double cone, two penetrations. The new method is very eye-catching. YJ-21 was born out of Dongfeng 21D and is regarded as a shrunken version adapted to shipboard. China's current main anti-ship ballistic missiles, including Dongfeng 26, Dongfeng 21D, and YJ-21, all use the unique hypersonic layout design of the double cone warhead. Similar to the principle of aircraft lift, the double cone warhead relies on the pressure difference between the upper and lower sides of the warhead cone to compress the air at a certain angle of attack and the expansion wave to generate a certain lift and glide. At the same time, it can rely on squeezing the air in front to form an air film to reduce flight resistance. This layout gives the missile a better speed and range. In recent decades, quite a few classic ballistic missiles have adopted this type of design. Applied to the YJ-21, it has two deadly penetration methods of hypersonic speed and maneuvering orbit change. In the water drift stage after re-entry into orbit, the speed of the missile is as high as Mach 6. Its trajectory has a certain degree of randomness and has a certain degree of lateral maneuverability, which allows the missile to approach the target at a very high speed and is difficult to be detected and intercepted in the middle. After re-entry into the atmosphere, the final sprint speed of the missile can reach Mach 10, which is far beyond the speed of interceptors. Even if it is detected by the enemy's radar, the aerodynamic rudder surface on the projectile can change the orbit in time to maneuver, so that the opponent can see but not hit, ensuring that it can penetrate the defense and hit the target.
3. Multi-platform deployment is conducive to global deployment. In order to adapt to the missile silos, 850 mm in diameter and 9 meters in depth, of the two main naval battleships 055 and 052D-DL in design and principle, the YJ-21 adopts cold launching to reduce fuel consumption, and the size of the projectile body has been enlarged. The reduction of the diameter of the gun is only about 600 mm, making its range relatively small. On the other hand, this missile may also be carried on a large number of new 095-class attack nuclear submarines, becoming a nuclear submarine similar to the former Soviet Oscar class dedicated to anti-ship missions, which can further enhance the concealment of China's anti-ship forces. The Chinese Navy has more than 30 cutting-edge destroyers, and it is still growing at a rapid rate every year. It is currently the Navy with the fastest shipbuilding speed in the world. If these destroyers can carry a certain number of YJ-21 missiles, they will become a powerful force. The 052D Yinchuan ship that once went deep into the vicinity of the Hawaiian Islands is now capable of carrying a large number of YJ-21 anti-ship missiles. Combined with China's plans for equipment development and replacement, this system will greatly enhance the Chinese Navy's ability to track and kill large enemy surface ships on a global scale. The YJ-21 missile is indeed a rule changer. It can be carried on warships, deployed around the world, launched and struck at a safe distance, outside the defense zone of the aircraft carrier battle group. This will change the rules of engagement at sea in the future, making the idea of arsenal ships, that is, equipped with dozens of heavy anti-ship missiles, a reality to a certain extent. If the Dongfeng 21D can keep the enemy's large surface warships away thousands of miles away, then the destroyers and nuclear submarines equipped with the YJ-21 can chase the enemy's large surface warships to the ends of the earth. The YJ-21 of different platforms, combined with the land-based Dongfeng 21D missile, can form a Trinity hypersonic anti-ship system, further strengthening the anti-access-slash-area-denial combat capability in the Western Pacific region. At the same time, it can activate the combat potential of a large number of China's advanced surface warships, so that every major warship can become a launcher for deadly missiles. Perhaps due to the size of the shipborne missile launch module, the YJ-21 missile cannot be purely performance-oriented, so many compromises have been made. For example, the most advanced Waverider layout and scramjet at present are not used. However, this airframe design and relatively low cost are more conducive to large-scale deployment on warships. In short, it can carry out saturated attacks on the opponent while having two penetration methods. The emergence of this weapon will completely shake the maritime hegemony of the main competitor. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.